channel so today's video is going to be a little bit different basically a Korean company decided to send me two of their products so I can try out and review them on my channel so I have received the products I've tried them out and now I'm going to review them so first of all I would just like to say that all thoughts and opinions on the products are my own and I'm definitely not paid to say anything good about them so now that we have that out of the way let's begin so the first product they sent me is from their brand called Turoi Arike and they specialize in skincare products so they sent me this pack of GPS mask and this is a box of 5 sheet masks so this mask is called GPS mask because it is supposedly able to locate where your skin needs moisture and also cell protection so it can actually allocate the moisture and protection to where it needs it so it's like navigating your skin so it's called GPS mask so this is how one sheet mask looks like as you can see there are many different sections of it so basically this mask has three steps for you to do to complete the entire session of the mask so the first step is over here and they call it the mask cleanser so any first step to putting a sheet mask is obviously to clean your face so they actually provide a cleanser for you in case you don't have a cleanser and this cleanser is supposed to be really good and it's even able to remove waterproof mascara unfortunately when I used it I already had bare face. Um, I wouldn't say my face was super clean, but I didn't have waterproof mascara on so I couldn't test it out. I feel like it's pretty cool because the product comes out in a gel-like texture so it doesn't fall out everywhere. But once you start rubbing it onto your face, bubble starts forming and personally I feel like foam is really the thing that gets into your pores and cleans things out so I feel like that really works for me and after I cleanse my face, my face just feel extra clean and really refreshed. So once you're done cleansing your face, you're ready to move on to the second step which is the actual sheet mask. So this sheet mask is really special than the rest of the sheet mask I've used because when I took it out, it has like protective layers over it. So basically what you need to do is to remove one side of the protective layer and then put the mask on your face and then remove the other side of the protective layer. Um, I find it a little bit difficult because the protective layer is a little bit thick so you find it really difficult to put it on your face when you have like the layers on it um, but end up I managed to do so and the mask itself felt really gel like it's like a really thick hardened gel texture it's really soft because the mask is like a gel like thing and it's soaked with all the goodness inside it really does stick to parts of your face and it doesn't fall out and usually sheet masks last for about 15 to 25 minutes if you want to put it all the way until it gets dry it probably take about 40 minutes um, however this mask can last up to two hours and even more um, apparently depending on how your skin is um, and I find it really cool because I've never used the sheet mask for more than an hour or even more than 40 minutes I usually don't put it all the way until it's dried up and you can actually use this for two hours which I feel like is really good so once you're done with the mask, it's time to move on to the third step and that is to apply the Cell Energy Cream. So they provide a cream for you to conclude your mask session and this cream is basically to help protect the moisture and the active ingredient that the mask has given to you so it can continue to work goodness into your face once you're done with the mask. The cream was really light, it didn't feel oily or thick and they also ensured to provide sufficient amount for your entire face and also your neck area which is pretty nice. So overall, I feel like I really enjoyed the entire mask session. It was a different experience from the previous sheet mask that I've used um, because it has a cleanser and a cream for you to apply after that. And I feel like the mask I really like because when I took it off, I feel like my skin just felt really soft and radiant and I feel like I look more healthy and less dull. So when I tried it on, I didn't put it on for 2 hours. I had it on for like 20 minutes like a regular mask so I feel like with that result um, in 20 minutes I feel like it's really good so I think this is really good for pampering myself sessions when I feel like my skin really needs a lot of moisture and help uh, I feel like this is really good and especially if you're traveling I feel like this is really handy because like if you're on a plane and you want to put a sheet mask um, you have a cleanser to clean your face 
you have the mask and you can put it on for two hours and you can go to bed and you wouldn't have to set an alarm to wake up 20 minutes later just to remove it and then you also have a cream to lock in everything and to conclude your session so I think this is really good and um, I really enjoyed using it it is slightly expensive for a sheet mask um, the box of five sheet masks is retailing at 45 US dollar so for me, I feel like it's a little bit expensive, but for the quality of it, I feel like it's worth it because of all the things that they have and the results of it. I mean, my Innisfree sheet masks don't really give me instant results, so that's that. So very quickly, let's move on to the second product that they have sent me to try. This product I was really excited to try out because they decided to send me an egg cushion foundation and I'm not sure if you guys know but I am super into egg cushion foundations. I have so many of them and they are like the only thing I have been using for my face like as my foundation. I can't even remember when was the last time I use my foundation brush or my liquid foundation. I've just been using egg cushion foundations because they are so handy to use. And they give a very nice finish and a very light coverage, very natural looking. So I've been loving that, especially for everyday use. If you're gonna use it every day, uh, I feel like a light coverage foundation would be good. So yes, I've been loving egg cushion foundations and they decided to send me one. So this is their H cushion and this is from their brand called Tudoi Peel. And this is the only egg cushion foundation they are currently offering and it only comes in one shade. So when I heard about that, I was a little bit worried because I personally have medium skin tone and when it comes to Korean foundations, it's really hard to pick the correct color because a lot of them tend to be too light for me because I guess Korean products tend to cater to Koreans who in general have very pale and fair skin so it's really hard to find medium to dark skin tone colors so I was a little bit worried that this was gonna be too pale for me however that wasn't the case this egg cushion foundation supposedly will adjust to your skin tone color in 5 to 10 minutes personally when I first apply on it I feel like the shade difference wasn't too bad so um, I have it on my face right now I don't think it looks really white or unnatural so I think it really does adjust to my skin tone a little bit but other than that um, it's because the shade difference wasn't too bad as well. Um, I feel like it was already quite matching to my skin. It's a little bit lighter but um, I feel like after blending it just looks a lot more natural. So this is how the packaging looks like. It's really simple designed. Um, it's not anything too fancy and it's really lightweight as well. So when I first opened up the egg cushion foundation, I found out that the sponge wasn't fully soaked with the foundation and I was actually told that this was supposed to happen because it is to minimize oxidation from happening to your foundation. So basically they're using a special kind of sponge so instead of the usual like just soaking the sponge with the foundation, the sponge is actually a different kind of sponge. I'm not sure how to explain it but they're using a different one that um, doesn't allow the foundation to come out all at once and that is to minimize oxidation from happening. Basically when your foundation oxidizes, um, it can get a little bit dull and the color might change so that's bad. So what makes this egg cushion foundation different from the rest of the many other egg cushion foundations is that it doesn't only give you the regular coverage and brightening effect etc etc. It also has healing properties for your face. So this egg cushion foundation has three main healing functions, the first one being anti-aging, the second one is whitening, and the third one is UV protection. So this egg cushion foundation comes with SPF 50 and it also supposedly provides a shield for your face to prevent moisture loss and also to protect your face from external factors like the sun and etc etc. So it helps keep your skin in a good environment for healing and for anti-aging. So other than providing the shield for your face, it also includes a lot of other ingredients inside to help promote promote anti-aging and to boost your collagen and also to help whitening and also anti-inflammatory if you have acne or anything it apparently helps to heal them and calm them down so that is incredible so I've tried the foundation and my conclusion is I really like it it is 
honestly now my favorite egg cushion foundation I'm definitely gonna use this every single day I'm not sure if you guys remember but in my April favorites I mentioned that the April Skin egg cushion foundation was one of my favorite one um, I feel like this was really similar just that this sounds more better because it has healing properties because I personally like to wear foundation on an everyday basis because I feel like it helps to even out my skin tone and it brightens up my face and makes me look less dull, less like I'm gonna die. So every day at work, I like to use a cushion foundations. But when I broke out, I just stay away from foundations because I feel like if I were to put foundation over my acne, it's just gonna make it worse and make it more infected and just clog the pores even more. So if I break out, I usually don't put any foundation on my face. But I know that if you're really affected by your spots and you really want to cover it like I do, I actually had a pimple here and it really affected me because I usually break out around my chin area and I feel like that's nothing much to be affected about but I had one over here and it's just in a very disturbing place so I really want to cover it even though I know that it's bad I just kind of like stack a lot of foundation and concealer over it um, so I know how it feels to get affected by um, a spot because it just reduces your confidence level etc etc and you want to feel good you want to cover that up so I definitely know how it feels so I feel like now I can cover up all my spots without worrying that it will just gonna make it worse. Apparently it will make it better and it's gonna heal my skin. So I feel like this is an amazing product. So this Air Cushion Foundation has a dewy finish which I like because I feel like that looks really healthy and really glowy. So that's what I like but if you prefer a matte face then just put on some loose powder and you should be good to go. This Air Cushion Foundation has light to medium coverage which I like because I feel like that gives a more natural feel. Definitely not a full like perfect coverage. Um, so if you're looking for a full coverage foundation, I'm not sure if layering this would actually create a more full coverage but I tend to only use one layer with my egg cushions because I really like the light and natural look and I like the feeling that there's not much on my skin um, so I really like light to medium coverage I mean a lot of egg cushion foundations have light to medium coverage uh, if you want like a really full thick coverage then probably find a liquid foundation so that's the end of my conclusion of this egg cushion foundation this one is retailing at 38 US dollar so I feel like it's really worth it because I do have egg cushion foundations that are slightly more expensive than this and it's just a regular egg cushion foundation. There's also a lot of high-end egg cushion foundations that are a lot more expensive than that. I feel like if you are struggling with troubled skin or you have sensitive skin, definitely give this a try because it might be a life changer. So that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you like this one, please hit the like button. It will mean a lot to me. So if you're interested in any of their products, I'll leave their Facebook link down below. So all you have to do is to drop them a message telling them that you're interested in getting the products and they will assist you in that. So I'll see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye!